Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Hershey and Hershey is going to help me demonstrate how to do a cut on a Cocker Spaniel. Um, I've actually already cut half a, cock, uh, half a Hershey. I've already done the bath um, and then I've cut half of him to show you the finished look because I'm going to do it in stages and uh, with dog grooming there is no retakes and second takes and uh, editing because it is what it is. So. I just thought that would give you a better idea. So on this side, I have not done anything with, with him. So I need to do everything for the cut. So this is how he came in. Um, and like I said, I've given him a bath and uh, that is about it. So uh, when I first, when he first came in, I, do, I did brush out his ears and all the skirting. I did brush all that out um, and combed it out. I used a nice metal comb to get that out because then you can actually get down to the bottom. Um, with a dog with a skirt, you're going to want to make sure they do not have any matting. Um, otherwise, it'll affect how you can do the skirt. So you'll want to make sure there's no matting in there. And if there is heavy matting, you will not be able to do a skirt on him or her. All right, so I'm going to get started. So I use a number 10 on the top. And on cockers, you start right from the face. And when I'm holding him, I'm holding him by the back of his jawline so that I can maneuver him, but it does not affect his breathing at all. And I'm going to just go right inside the ear there, just up to it. And around his eye and his whole mouth and face. I get it all shaved down. So this is a number 10 that I'm using now. And under the chin. And some dogs have this little, where their throat is, it kind of flaps. So you're just going to kind of want to separate that to get it. So, and this guy's skirt starts um, halfway up his chest. So I just go to that line. Every, um, every owner may want a different kind of skirt. Some people like the skirt right down at the bottom to start. Um, but this one starts kind of midway. Oh, here, I'll turn on this light. There we go. All right, so I just continue going down the back. And this is all number 10. So obviously his fur is a little damp right now. And from the previous cut, you can sort of see the line going down him. So that's what I'll follow again. I always start at the top and work my way down. Just the way I, I've always done it, so. And sometimes with a little bit older dogs, their skin is loose. So you kind of have to hold the skin tight with your other hand so that you can get a nice cleaner cut. As I do have to do with this guy. And sometimes it's just a type of breed. It doesn't even mean that they're an older dog. So I just flex his skin a little bit. And there we go. And with his fur being a little bit uh, damp yet, um, you don't have to worry about getting it perfect because I'm going to be blow drying him again. Um, and then that'll help kind of poof it up a little bit. But it is nice and clean and you always want to make sure you have a, a cool blade. So always keep checking the blades. And if they start getting a little bit warm, I do change them out. I don't like the sound. Well, actually when they make that sound, that just means that they're ready for some oil. There we go. Okay, and now around his bum area. Let's see there. <laughs> because we're keeping the skirt, it just goes down, but we don't actually shave inside. 
and it doesn't have, so it just keeps a nice clean look on the bum and you shave his tail and you lift that up and get all the whiskeys in there but again I'm not going to go in there I see there's just a little bit of matting so being a sensitive area you just want to be gentle with that okay and then I would use the scissors to just even that out like that. All right, so now we'll go back to the side I haven't done. Okay, so on the skirt, um, you can either use a scissor cut from this, um, but this owner um, likes it a little bit shorter. It is the summer right now. So what I do is I use my three quarters blade which is this one here. Again, there's no matting, because if there was matting, you would not get this blade through. All right. And basically, I just go down with that. And this, this blade, uh, this, from this cut, you're kind of just um, getting all the extra loose ones on the inside you can go. Usually I go upwards just to take a little bit more because it's in that area where it's prone to get matted. So I do it a little bit shorter because you're going reverse up. You're always just going down with it because you don't want any lines to show when you're doing this part. holding him up so he's out of my way but again no, no pressure on the throat you never want to put any pressure on the throat area to restrict their breathing all right and then you just go underneath with the same blade And um, back here, sorry. So back here when I was going, um, it, they have that little flap of skin there. So I don't really even know if these ones won't go through because they're not split tooth, but it could still pull on the skin. So I tend to go back and just lift up that leg and just kind of scissor cut that area. Because this, this could get caught in the blades and you don't want, so there's a little flap of skin that, um, all the eggs have there so you just want to be very aware of that and so and even in this area I'll kind of go back and use scissors rather than a blade just because of the sensitive nature of it there and so basically you're taking off the bulk of that and then uh, from there I for the uh, ears I comb out again with them being damp
and then I just you can see the outline of the ear and I go around that and always use your thumb as a guide because then you can know where the end of the ear is so you're making sure you're not going to cut that and then I'll go from the top and uh, kind of do like a little bit of a layering on it okay and then because the cocker ears are quite heavy I always shave the inside of them out just to help them with the weight there we go. and that way you always go up you don't go this way because you may catch on those little flaps in there And you just go to the outside of the ear, but always going upward. And that just helps them get a little bit lighter for the dog. There we go. And uh, as it's folded, I can just see that sticking out there. Um, cocker ears have thicker hair, so I kind of scissor just right in there. And then I'll use the... Um, tweezers for any of those little um, thinner hairs and the little wispies just to clean that out. Okay, while I'm in there then I use an ear solution and that just helps dry out any moisture that may have gotten into the ear as uh, that is not good for the dogs. All right, okay, so that's, oh yeah, and then the last piece I do is the feet. So. When you're doing a, a, a skirt on a dog, there we go, um, you make sure to always just trim the feet um, from the bottom. So you're kind of just uh, trimming them out, but you're not curving up. So you're just kind of making it flat on the bottom there. So that it kind of blends with the rest of the skirt otherwise it could be um you know it, it would definitely show if they had real short shaved feet and then a long uh, long skirt coming down on the legs so and you just kind of round it so you just kind of go through the toes but you're not angling the scissors back you're just going straight up with it i already did the back foot so i just i don't want to make the video too long just get the basic points across. Um, please let me know if there's any specific that you'd like to see on a breed or um, just a specific cut you'd like to see. I always have new guys coming through every day. So I'm just working as they come in. So I don't know what breed's coming in until they get here. So Okay. So that is the first cut is what I do after the bath. Okay, and then what I do is I blow dry again. And then it kind of fluffs everything up like this. And then what I'll do is I'll go back and just scissor anything that's kind of uh, sticking out more. So you can see this toe jam is a little long. So again, I'll just use scissors for this part. So I won't use the clippers anymore. I will use the clippers on the top though um, to clear any of those off, but uh, use scissors just on the bottom skirt and just underneath I can see. You know, and then this one is sticking out, so I just try to clean it up as best I can and then a little toe jam. And then at the top there, just to blend it. And there we go. All right, so there is um, how to do a cocker cut. Hopefully um, it all made sense. Um, if you have any questions or you'd like to see something different, please let me know. Um, for my lovely assistant, he did really good. He's pretty relaxed. Um, and I plan to be posting every day a new video and possibly of a new dog. So 
um, please subscribe to my channel and um, keep watching and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for your time.